Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of mine. I am Lovable Hat Tsunimiku, and today I am back with another movie review. I'm sorry I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I've been trying to do them, but again, work just gets in the way, and I've been having a hard time finding some really good Japanese horror movies and some other movies, but I have been watching a few, and I will get on to reviewing some of the other movies I really want to talk about on this channel, but you know, it's been hard, so please, uh, you know, understand of what I'm coming from, because work gets in the way. Way, and again, it's hard for me to find some good movies. Plus, I'm very picky, and if I don't like the movie enough, I won't talk about it. But today's movie is definitely an interesting one for sure. And oh boy. So yeah, I'm just gonna try my best to talk about this movie because it is just so freaking bizarre and it just doesn't make sense at all. So today's movie I'm going to be talking about is Kotodama Spiritual Curse. So anyone who has heard of this movie probably knows everything I'm gonna talk about this movie and to anyone who doesn't, well, you guys are definitely in for a lot of weird, confusing plot twists in this movie because mm -hmm. oh boy, I have a lot of crap to say about this movie. Most of it's not that very good and some of it is a little bit good but to anyone who has seen this movie I honestly feel for you and to anyone who actually understands the plot of this movie I applaud you because I watched it and I have no idea what the frick this movie is about even reading the plot twist like the plot of the movie I still don't understand the damn meaning behind this movie this movie came out in 2014 and usually when it's summertime I usually like to watch Japanese horror movies because I don't know why it's just very fun for some reason so I was bored and I was kind of looking at like Japanese horror movies on YouTube randomly and I saw this one and it caught my attention and I watched the trailer and the trailer looked pretty interesting and I was like, okay, it's on YouTube. I think it was like two hours long or something like that. So I, I watched it and you know what? I'm just going to read the plot of the movie and then I'll explain what happens in the movie from my perspective to try to understand of what the hell even happens in this movie. And then I'll give my thoughts about the movie and stuff I liked about the movie and stuff I didn't like, so that kind of crap. And I'm sorry this is a very long video, but oh boy, when I have a lot of crap to say about this movie that I just want to get off my chest. It is so freaking bizarre. But anyways, I'm going to read the plot of the story to you guys and the cast and the characters' names because holy shit, there's a lot of damn people in this movie, so enjoy. Ayana, Mio, Yuri, and Mei are high school students. They learn about a fatal gas accident which occurred at a high school in the past. The girls then experience unusual occurrences like hearing breathing from closed classrooms and seeing a person's shadow. Hitomi then seeks into the abandoned school and shoots a horror film for the internet. Hitomi hears from the colleagues, Kimo, about the fox's windows which leads to the spirit world. And I'm sorry that's a really short like plot of the synopsis of the movie but honestly Honestly, I've tried to look for more and honestly it doesn't really go much about the movie so I'm sorry that's barely of what I could find but that's how bad this movie is and I'm sorry so I'm gonna read like the characters names because I s there's like 15 people in this movie and I guess the nurse counts but holy shit there was just too many characters in this movie so I'm sorry that I kind of forgot some of their names so I'm probably gonna have their names pulled up on the side in case I forget because there was just too many characters and you'd think I'd be good with these Japanese names because I'm really good at like remembering Japanese names when it comes to horror movies but to be honest, they barely said their names in the movies. I think they only said like three of the names, like maybe twice throughout the whole movie. And that's probably why I don't remember. The only ones I really remember are Miyu, Hitomi, Yuri, Mei, and that's like the only four I can remember. The others just are like a blank memory. I just don't even remember who the hell they are. So yeah, that's just, well actually that was just the name of the characters of the classmates, I'm sure I've missed a few, but anyways. So yeah, those are basically, oh my god, I'm just gonna read the characters. So we got Ayano, Mio, Hitomi, Yuri, Mei, Yuji, Mitsu, Kimio, Iki, and Shidoi. And there's actually more characters in the movie, there's another girl, but I don't see her name on here. I mean, I do see the actress's name, but I don't see the character's name. Plus, I don't think this character even got a name in the movie, she's just there. But anyways, I'm just gonna explain how, whatever the frick I remember from this movie, because there's a lot to take in about this movie. So I'm gonna try my best to remember what the hell happened, because I literally watched this like a day ago, so I want to record it now while I still remember shit, because... 
Oh boy, this movie is just a mess. <laughs> oh my god. So anyways, the movie begins with this girl and she's um writing down like the alphabet, like the I think it was the kanji of the Japanese words. So basically she was uh, making a Ouija board and I think she wrote like the devil's name on top and these two girls are like, are, like what are you doing? And I think they're like making fun of her and the girl's like, give me your hands and she's like, you better apologize, which is actually a current theme in this movie for some reason. The characters will always say you better apologize and it kind of makes like no freaking sense at first i thought when they were saying you better apologize i thought it was because the people were like taunting and making fun of the ghost but no they're just like you gotta apologize and there's even the characters were like why do we have to apologize it makes no sense but anyways from the start of the movie the girls like basically there's a fast jump scare and i thought that was a little bit too early for the beginning of the movie it's like i think it was like two minutes in and we're already getting a jump scare which i'm not gonna lie that actually did scare me but then again i did have my volume up all the way because holy crap it was really low like the version i was trying to watch on youtube so i had to download it drop it into imovie raise the volume up all the way so i could actually hear what the hell they were saying so just my warning if you guys are watching it on youtube if you guys have like an editing app or something i suggest just you guys like you know download it and adjust the volume because it's pretty low on youtube i'm not gonna lie but anyways so this is girl that lives in a house and her mom has passed away i don't i don't even think this girl even has a damn name so we're just gonna call her that girl i guess because seriously she doesn't even have a name in the movie it's kind of pathetic and she wakes up and she hears like these coins like these three ten dollar coins or something rattling on this fucking like bowl or something that her mom kept and I'm like, okay, like, what the hell? At first I thought, like, why the hell is she all alone? But then you realize towards the end that I guess she's an adult. I literally thought she was a high school student because of how young she looked, but I, whatever. So, I, fuck, I don't know. She's just there. She's not really important to the story. I mean, she kind of is, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot to say about this movie that I think... It focuses on three or four like story arcs which I really am not a fan of when movies do that because it kind of just takes away from the real focus of the movie plus their story arcs I mean they kind of do add up but it, at the same time it just feels like too much so anyways I'm gonna get on to the other characters so like she's like that girl I was talking about before she's like the first uh, story of the film I guess and then the second story of the film is like these high school students which is like um Oh my god, I think there was like 10 of them or so. There was a lot of students, I barely remember their names. So, I remember this one girl, um, I think her name was, I think it was May. She's a very fucked up character towards the end and you'll see why. She's kind of like the main character of the movie, I guess, I'm not sure. More like actually the main character of the group. She's, um, I remember they're like in a fucking classroom or something and she's like that one that hears like the voices and shit in the classroom and you know she's gonna be that girl that no one believes in so I'm like okay she's that girl that hears the super paranormal stuff okay interesting and then out of fucking nowhere I think they're having like a fucking like break or something and they literally just randomly start talking about this fucking room like class four or something and about this freaking like okay one some of the students were saying like something about it being a hospital other people were saying like a gas or something leaked and then i think there was like another story behind it or some bullshit like that i really can't remember because god there's just so much to freaking like take in of this movie even i'm having a hard time remembering so anyways basically with the high school students all they do is talk about like rumors about class four and then may is like afraid of it or some shit and then there's like there's fucking crack on the other side of like the wall of the outside of the hallway or something which barely plays a big part in the movie so it's really not that important and then there's like this other fucking thing about like one of the classmates or whoever the hell i can't remember their names she's talking about like this like girl that died or something and she was, like she died or something like she got trapped in the mirror and i was like okay and it really doesn't make sense so anyways there's like these other characters in the movie like um the film p dudes S the only character that really gets a name i think one of the other dudes so i think it was he he me and kimi kimio and ika iki or whatever the hell his name is i i know there was like another dude with them but fuck i can't remember his name he was like the dude so they're basically like a exploring this abandoned school air quotation marks you see what i mean later and that girl, he to me, is, like, kind of afraid she doesn't want to be there. And the guys are like, oh, like, stop being a wuss. And I'm pretty sure that girl was 
Iki's brother or like sister, I think. I don't know. But she's probably the most interesting character besides the girl at the beginning of the movie with the coins. I'll get onto her later. She's very adorable, I won't lie. She does like this thing where she like pulls down her eyelid or something and she sticks out her tongue. You know, basic anime shit that you see in anime. It's very adorable. Plus, she's the only one with kind of brains with another character so basically she's that character that doesn't want to be there she's like afraid and then there's this interesting scene where her brother or whoever the hell has a soda can or whatever he puts it on the ground and she picks it up she's like oh like don't like you know leave your garbage you'll give us away like someone will know that we're here so she puts it in front of this mirror that you know that girl was talking about like the haunted mirror and i was like oh is that the mirror that she's talking about and they walk off and then i think in another scene it shows that like the can is actually in the mirror like i thought that was really cool so i was like okay is this going to be like about the haunted mirror or something but sadly it's not i mean it kind of is but again i'll get onto it later so basically these dudes are fucking filming and well just before they're about to film the guys tell like heat to me to do this like um thing with her fingers it's actually really cool it's like you put your fingers together and you put it in front of your face and it's like a um like a gateway to see like through the spirit world it's actually really cool and i thought that was like really interesting i that was probably like the only part i really liked about the movie because it's like you can see the dead people or something but it's barely used in the movie and i thought that was a real shame because she looks at it or something and we don't get to see what she sees but she does get startled by something but anyways the guy shoots something and the guy hides in the bathroom but he goes into the other stall and then they basically fucking film the bathroom and they see this ghost but they actually think it's the other dude but really it's not so basically in short form when the guy was in the other stall, this fucking hand or something is telling him to, like, say, give me, gimme or something. And it, it really doesn't make sense, because there are some ghosts in the fucking movie, and it really doesn't make sense, because the ghosts really don't have a fucking purpose of being in the movie. And I know that sounds really dumb saying that for a horror movie, but literally, the ghosts in this movie are so fucking meaningless. Like, you could put them in the movie and they won't have any damn meaning behind the movie. It just makes no fucking sense. But anyways, I'll explain it later because there are more ghosts. But there was this one ghost I thought that was cool throughout the movie. So anyways, the fucking ghost or whatever fucking scared the shit out of him and then he starts acting weird saying like you better apologize and i was like okay so then i think like with the other um high school students there's girl is like in gym and she sees like this fucking pair of feet like literally i thought it was like a ghost but then the closer you look at it it's only just a pair of missing like like just feet and i was like okay that's kind of interesting which i so fucking called it like I, we all know that she's gonna get trapped so basically the girl walks into like the fucking room with all the gym shit and of course she gets trapped and she's terrified when she gets out and everyone just really doesn't give a shit and i was like okay i think i can't remember which girl that was i think think it was i think it was yuri i think that was her name y yuri of course every fucking horror movie or japanese movie has to have a girl named yuri like what the hell so anyways she goes to this like fucking nurse and the nurse is kind of actually creepy i'm not gonna lie she's basically kind of a bitch i'm not gonna lie like she's like go to sleep and she's writing and she kind of seems very rude like she doesn't like her job but then later on like fucking yuri or whatever her name is wakes up and we look at the doctor's feet and they're like fucking pale and purple so i thought okay is that the girl that was the ghost that was taunting her or you know fucking messing with her and then she fucking disappears and it makes no sense and i'm like what the hell like i thought it was really fucking pathetic that they had to put a nurse in because she really doesn't do anything with the fucking story she's basically just there to you know make a jump scare or something not even a jump scare there's barely any jump scares in this movie but i will fucking admit there were some scenes that did fucking startle me but then again i have to say again i did have the volume all the way up because i could barely hear what the hell was going on so again i had to turn it up but anytime there was a jump scene i did kind of get scared and I almost punched my fucking computer and I would swear at it because I would get mad because usually I'm that type of person that usually likes to talk over a movie like I'll be like oh a jump scare is gonna happen and then when I'm talking a fucking jump scare happens and it's so loud it like ear rapes my ears so yeah that's kind of why I got scared because I was not focusing I was talking to myself thinking like oh like this is gonna happen but anyways okay what the fuck was I even talking about so anyways okay so there's this one scene where 
I think it was fucking someone. I can't remember. I think it was Miu or someone. She's running down the fucking stairs. Or I think she was like looking at the crack in the wall and she sees like a fucking person. Like, of course, it's always a person. And then she runs away or something and she comes to the fucking mirror. And I fucking kid you not, there was this scene that f it shot so fast. I didn't even know what the fuck happened. Like, I had to, like, fucking rewind it just to see what the hell happened. And I'm gonna play it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna play it in slow motion so you guys can see. So I guess, I don't know how the fuck, but Yuri somehow got trapped in the mirror. Which makes no fucking sense. It's like, you were just, I don't know. So I think they were, like, looking for her, the classmates. And then the fucking nurse is like, she's not here. So I guess she got trapped in the mirror somehow. Which I don't think we see on screen. But fuck it, whatever. I guess the mirror's important. Which really, the mirror really doesn't fucking make sense in this movie. And you'll see why. So then, like, literally, like... Okay, so he to me, like, after they shoot the thing, they start to think, like, oh, like, the guy's like, oh, like, that wasn't me in the video, I was in the other stall, and then the guy's, like, freaking out, like, oh, we can't bring this tape back, we'll get cursed, and then the other guy's like, no, we'll get more views and we'll get paid more, so then he to me kind of just fucks off, because she's like, I don't want to be here, so then literally he to me gets lost in the school, and I was literally saying to myself, like, dude, do you not go to a fucking high school, you should know where the exits are, or go through the front door, I was literally saying that the whole time time she kept saying oh like well, i can't get out it's like dude just go through the fucking front doors or go back the way you came or go through the exit doors like are you that fucking dumb i seriously doubt you can't find your way and it was daytime like i understand that it was like nighttime but literally they were in the building during the day and there are some other scenes i want to point out like you'll notice that okay the girl at the beginning whatever the hell her name is that girl world is color when she's in the school, it's, like, all bright and, like, sunny, but when you cut back to the film students or whatever the hell they were, it's all, like, sad, like, colors, and that was something I kind of noticed, like, halfway through the movie. I was like, wait, I was kind of starting to think, like, wait, are they, like, trapped in another universe? Because, again, they did that thing with the fox thing, and I thought, like, oh, maybe they're stuck in a supernatural universe and no one else can see them, which kind of does kind of make sense because the girl's taking pictures of the school because she's got these, like, flowers because she reads this fucking diary or something that her mom left about the fucking gas, which I will get onto later. It makes no fucking sense, I swear to God. So the girl's taking pictures, and the guys, like, the film students think that they're she's taking pictures of them, so basically they run, but then we see that she can't see them. Like, when she takes a picture, they're not in the frame, which I thought that was actually kind of cool, so I thought, oh, like, maybe they are trapped in the mirror and they don't know it. But nope, or I don't even know. So anyways, fucking whatever. We cut back to the other students and whatever they're talking about, like... Oh boy, it's- my mind is just going blank because there was just so much to take in. Like, something I have to complain about the movie is that it feels so fucking slow at the beginning. Like, literally, there were times where I would, like, pause and I think I would be, like, like longer throughout the movie. But then I look and I'm, like, 12 minutes in. I'm like, holy shit, I thought it was, like, 30 minutes in, but it's, I'm, I'm, like, 12 minutes in. And that's really not a good thing when a movie makes me check to see, like, how long I am. Because there were some times where I would just get so damn bored, I would have to pause it to go do something because I was just so bored. I think I took, like, a one-hour break from this movie and then went back to watch it later because... It's really freaking slow at the beginning. Nothing really happens. It's mostly just the characters talking. And the setting of the movie is basically... At the beginning, we're at that girl's house. That whatever the hell her name is. She really doesn't have a name in the movie, so I can't say what the hell her name is. It's mostly just filmed in the students and mostly them in the classroom. So it's mostly filmed in the school. So you're going to see like mostly the same scenery, which kind of sucks because it kind of just takes away from it being a horror movie. Because it's mostly just either a classroom you'll see or another fucking classroom but it's a science lab or a fucking hallway and that's basically everything you'll see in the movie which i really wish we could have seen more of the school because it's mostly just classroom science room and the hallway that's all you're gonna see and towards the end you do get to see what's in class four but it's literally the same fucking classroom but darker and scarier but anyways Oh my god, there's just so much to talk about this movie. It's such a load of bullshit, this movie. And I'm sorry if I'm saying a lot of negative things about this movie, but you'll see why when I actually give my final thoughts about it. So anyways, what the hell was I saying? So anyways, I was complaining about heat to me or something. She can't find her way or whatever the fuck. And oh my god. So basically, like, I'm trying to remember. So I think um, heat to me... 
Oh yeah, she's like, f there's this one scene where she's in the hallway and she sees like a ghost um, crawling out of the floor. And I thought this was like the coolest scene in the whole movie, I'm not gonna lie, because it was like the only cool ghost we see. Because the ghost, it had like, it did like weird body movement, which I love to see in Japanese ghost movies. Like, you know, you have a Japanese ghost girl. I like, I like it when they do that kind of stuff. It makes the ghost look cool. That was like the only cool ghost in the whole movie. All the other ghosts are just fucking pointless and have no purpose. So I thought that was the only cool scene. Plus, like, it did kind of scare me because, again, the volume was really high. And she basically locks herself in this fucking room. And she basically stays there for the rest of the movie. I'm not gonna lie, she literally just stays there. And we see on the wall, like, um, the chalkboard, and it's basically that stuff on the Ouija board that that girl was writing. So, okay, fast forward ahead. It's really not that important. Like, honestly, there's really not a lot of important shit. So, basically, the film dudes meet up with the school students and. They can see them, apparently, because I thought, like, oh, maybe they can't see them, but apparently they can. So, basically, they're like, what the hell is going on and stuff like that. So, again, we'll, co we'll go back to the girl that has the flowers and the coins. She basically goes into, like, um those rooms where you give announcements or something, and she's talking about, like, what happened at the school. It was, like, 1988 or something like that. July or June 18th or something like that. And she's reading about, like, how sad she is and how she feels bad for the students and then it's revealed that the students that we've been fucking following throughout the movie who we barely know their damn names because it's a lot of bullshit like honestly i can barely remember their names i had their i have their names pulled up and i don't even give a shit about the characters really like honestly so basically they find out that they are the students that died in the fucking guest ass accident which makes no fucking sense because like literally at the beginning of the movie you will notice that throughout the whole movie you'll see like the teacher and it looks like a normal class but throughout the rest of the movie you notice that there are no other classmates or students or teachers so that was one thing i did pick up on but i was like what the fuck and yeah it turns out they're fucking reliving the day they fucking died which makes no damn sense because i'm like why the hell are those film guys there it makes no freaking sense so uh, i don't know how the hell but i literally thought when the guys were filming for their horror movie i thought they were in a different school because they looked abandoned but i was like nope they're in the same school which makes no damn sense because how the hell did you guys not hear these students in the other rooms which makes no fucking sense but anyways somehow they're stuck in the past with them it makes no fucking sense because it's like what like what the hell like how the hell are you guys not aware that you guys are stuck in the past like wouldn't you guys like be able to recognize you guys reliving the same shit anyways so oh my god uh my head hurts just thinking about this fucking plot it makes no fucking sense i'm sorry but okay so basically the girl reads she talks about like how they died and how the, there was the gas so um Okay, like, um, I think once the girl is done talking, the students are like, to hell with this. We gotta go to that room where the incident happened or something. I think that's what they do. I really can't fucking remember. So basically, they get to that room. It makes no sense. But then we cut back to the other girl, I think, and she finds a tape that someone recorded, which makes no fucking sense, and I'll get onto it later. So basically, she watches this video, and she sees, like, um, the students were, like, friends of her mom's, which I think it was Ayano, Miyu, and Yuri. So I think those were, like, the three friends of the mom, and they're doing, like, this fucking Ouija board. And, okay, like, the one of the students, I think... It was Mitsu, I think he was filming, and they're like all like making fun of the Ouija board and they're like trying to fucking talk to the devil or some bullshit like that. It makes no fucking sense. Like literally, you would think the Ouija board would play a bigger part in the movie, but it really doesn't. It's like shown like maybe three or four two times throughout the whole movie so it's really kind of pathetic to just have it in the movie because I thought it was going to be like they're stuck in the school and they have to find a way out, but anyways. So literally, like, when the girl is watching the tape, um, she reads in the mom's diary that the mom didn't attend school because she got sick or something, but then it's later revealed in the tape that the mom was there, and the girl that was afraid of, like, the spirits and shit that she was hearing at the beginning of the movie, May, it turns out May was actually her mom this whole time, which I so fucking called. I had a feeling it was gonna be her. So anyways, she, I don't know, they fucking summoned, they called the devil, and then all of a sudden, May, the girl's mom, as a student like ugh, she fucking starts laughing her ass off like in an evil sadistic way and then like 
these girls like hold hands and they got like these black fucking veins or something and their fucking arms open and they attack one of the other girls i think it was yuri i fucking can't remember and it makes no fucking sense it's like what the fuck is going on here it literally reminded me of a scene from the movie tag like when the you know um mitsuko rips out the veins from uh oh i can't remember the other girl's name um, anyways, it reminded me of that scene, but, uh, fuck, Teg was such a better movie. Anyways, I'll explain that later. So then, literally, I fucking kid you not, there was like a two or three minute fucking segment where you literally see Mei laughing for three fucking minutes straight, and you see the classmates around her fucking fucking getting lifted into the air, and it's, I, I swear, it went on for three or two minutes. It was so fucking boring. So then, like, uh, we cut back to Hitomi, Hitomi or whatever the fuck her name was, the girl that didn't want to be there. She's stuck in the classroom and then all of a sudden we see like this, like the fucking mirror and there's like these hands and then I think there was like hair or something coming out and it's kind of like trying to persuade her like to come through the mirror which makes no fucking sense. It's like, what the fuck is going on? So she grabs a fucking chair or something and she throws it and of course she destroys it. So yeah, the fucking kids... I guess that were trapped in- I think they were trapped in the mirror? I fucking don't know. It makes no sense. So yeah, it, it fucking shatters. And then we cut back to- Oh my god, we cut back to another scene. But this time, it's like, it's still the students. But this time, the camera guys are there. And it's like, what? It's like, when the hell were you guys in the fucking past? I thought they were- Anyways, the camera guys are there now, and they're filming. It's basically the same shit again. But, yeah. And then we see the girl, like, heat to me, or whatever the fuck her name was. I really don't give a shit. We finally see her leave the fucking school through the front doors. After how many fucking hours she was, like, stuck in that school. I was, like, literally just go through the front doors. After all that, she finally remembers that she could just go through the front doors to escape. So yeah, she's the only one that survives compared to the, um, besides the other girl, whatever the hell her name was, she, the girl with the coins. So yeah, basically the girl with the coins comes home and finds out that her mom is a complete psycho bitch and that there was no fucking gas, gas incident and that her mother basically killed all the students because she got crazy by summoning a Ouija board or some shit like that. It makes no fucking sense. And that's literally the whole fucking plot of the movie. Confused? I sure am. So yeah, that's basically the fucking plot of the movie. And I'm sorry if I had to give away a lot of spoilers, but if I didn't talk about what the hell happens in the movie, you guys would be so confused. And honestly, I watched it and I, I'm literally so fucking confused. Even trying to talk about it, I'm literally so fucking confused. So literally when I was watching the movie, I thought the movie was going to be about like these high school students, like maybe five of them, not fucking 15. I thought there was going to be like, oh, like they talk about this like creepy room and they actually do discover that it's real. And that maybe it was like blocked up or something and that maybe they start doing like Ouija board summons and the fox thing and maybe that's what makes them start getting like, you know, haunted. I thought that's where the movie was going to go, but nope, they just had to do fucking story arcs, which makes no fucking sense because literally even if they all fucking add up together at the end it still doesn't make sense like why the hell were the camera guys there at the end they weren't there in the fucking past like like what the hell was the whole point of all the students they basically just fucking talk about like what's in fucking class four like every time they talk they always like wait for someone else to talk it was like i was watching a fucking screenplay or like a play of someone it's like no one talks over each other it makes no sense and the only characters i really liked in the whole movie was um Heat to me and the girl with the coins. She's basically the only kind of normal person. Because basically they're the only characters that don't really need to be there. But they're kind of just there. But really they're not that important. Everyone else in the movie is just fucking pathetic. Especially that nurse. Like what the hell was her point of being in the movie? Like seriously she didn't really have to be in the movie. You could have taken that part out of the movie. And it still wouldn't have changed. This movie is just a big clusterfuck. That's how I've explained this movie. It doesn't make sense. There's no real plot in the movie. Even if there is a plot, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And if you thought Tag was confusing, huh, just watch this movie and you'll be so damn confused. At least with Tag, I watched it like twice and I still understood what the hell was going on. And yeah, even though I didn't ever watch the trailer for Tag, I randomly found it on YouTube and watched it and I didn't know what the fuck was going on at first, but at the end of the movie I thought of it. And fuck, even Tag made more sense than this fucking movie. And I think that movie came out way before this movie did. Like, what? 
I try to think about it like why like this happened but really the more you think about it the more it just really doesn't make sense like why the hell is there a mirror there why is there a ghost with no feet why are there ghost kids in the fucking bathroom that want shit why the hell is that nurse got purple feet like why are they there the only thing i found also interesting was the mirror which i'm kind of sad they didn't do much with i thought the kids were like you know once they find that f class four thing i thought like maybe they were gonna actually get like look at the mirror and they were gonna do seances like in front of it or something at night like i thought that's what was gonna happen the kids find the room at night they do seances at night and then they do like they look at the mirror and talk about like the curse and then without them realizing i thought they were actually gonna get sucked into the universe but they weren't aware of it i thought that's what was gonna go like i thought that's what was gonna happen at the end of the movie because if you think about it that would have made much more sense if they were actually stuck in the mirror and they didn't realize it but it's like nope they were dead this whole time and it makes no damn sense because it's like there's not enough people in the background to see that or they didn't have the damn money to pay for more fucking actors. Because literally you see it's at the beginning you think it's going to be like that type of fucking school. But it's like nope. It's literally just the students, the film people, maybe the nurse and the girl with the flowers and the coins. or I really don't know what the fuck her name is. And that's really the big problem I have with this movie is that there are too many characters you barely hear their names throughout the movie, so that's why I barely can remember their names. I have to have their names pulled up in front of me so I remember. Like, the characters really don't play that much of a big part in the movie, except for maybe the girl with the coins and Heat to me, because she's, like, the only one that kind of survives besides the girl with the flowers again. All the other characters are just so damn forgettable. Like, I really could give less of a shit about, like, what happens to them in the movie. And again, with the ghosts, like, they really didn't have to be in this fucking movie. Like, they, like, who the hell are the ghost people? That never gets fucking explained. I'm assuming it's maybe the students, but how could it be the students when the students are alive and not fucking aware of what's going on? I mean, like, in this one scene, we do see, like, the students, like, they do see their dead bodies, but it makes no fucking sense. It's like, how could you not remember you're dead? Like... Like, what the hell? I find it pointless that they 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 talk about this whole fucking tear gas- Not tear gas, this fucking gas incident in the whole movie. Like, they build it up to make it look like it's a really emotional, suspenseful, like, accident. Which we don't even get to fucking see. Turns out it was just fucking made up. Like, that never fucking happened. Because fucking May got fucking crazy and just decided to laugh her ass off and make her friends float and her friends got shit veins in their arms and eat the other fucking girl or whatever and that's literally what happens at the end of the movie oh yeah and we get to see like this fucking ghost girl like hug her or something like who the fuck are you like the fucking devil version of her that's literally how the movie ends i'm not fucking kidding also that part did scare me because again fucking jump scares i was like fuck you i was literally about to punch the laptop when i saw that i was like you bitch like, I had it all the way up and it scared the shit out of me because it was, like, one of those big, creepy sound effects. I was like, fuck you. So, yeah, that's basically the whole plot of the movie. I'm still confused after trying to explain it. But, yeah, that's basically the whole fucking plot of the movie. And if you want my honest fucking opinion about this movie, I really think this movie was just a fucking piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't make sense. Even if there is a plot of the movie, there's too many characters it's taken in the same place the whole fucking time. You barely see any other fucking locations throughout the movie. So, you know, every time when the camera comes back to that other person, you know they're going to still be in the same place. It's like, go somewhere else. Go to the front of the school. Go outside. Go to the fucking roof of the school. Like, it's, it's mostly just set, again, in the classroom, in a science lab, or in the bathroom or the hallway. That's basically the whole thing you're going to see in this whole fucking movie. And again, with that whole room, it's barely fucking in the movie. So the room really isn't important. I kind of wish they did more with the whole creepy mirror thing. I thought that would have made more sense because I guess they did get trapped in the mirror. Not really sure how. <laughs> Fuck, I, the mirror really didn't have to be in the movie too. Also with the fucking ghost kids. I would have liked it if they only focused on that girl learning about like what the hell happened to the school and then she finds out but you know the kids aren't aware of what really happened but throughout the movie she talks through the speaker and then the kids later find out that they're stuck or something and maybe she would try to help them that would have made much better sense or a better fucking plot i would have fucking watched it if they went like that but nope it just had to go this way and i kind of feel like i wasted my time watching this movie and that really sucks because again i really do love watching japanese horror movies they are some of the best horror movies i've watched throughout the summer and believe me 
I have watched a lot of Japanese horror movies. I've made two whole videos of top 10 videos explaining the best Japanese horror movies I've watched. And some of the movies I've put on that list I actually think are better than this movie. And that's saying a lot, cause fuck, I really didn't like Suicide Club, but even that freaking movie had more of a better plot than this one. And that was so damn confusing. This movie, however, just really doesn't have a plot. I feel like it was just made so the fucking creator could just get money. And it really just doesn't fucking make sense. No matter how much I try to explain the plot of this movie, that's literally what happens in the whole movie. And it really just does feel like a letdown. It really doesn't feel like they gave a shit. I feel like they just kind of said, hey, let's make a movie. It's going to be in a school. The kids are dead, but they don't know it fucking 15 characters that barely get their names said in the movie. That's really the whole problem I had with this movie because it, I feel like it could have had so much potential, but maybe that's just me because I really like it when Japanese horror movies are set in a school because there's so many potentials where a ghost could get you and I think I thought like, oh, it's set in a school. That's why I got excited, but I watched the movie and I was very let down. I'd probably give this movie a 2 out of 10. Because, again, I did like that ghost that came out of the floor, and I thought the mirror and the fox thing was kind of cool. That was, like, the only cool thing throughout the whole movie. The rest of the fucking movie just really doesn't make sense. And, you know, if you guys want to watch this movie, it is on YouTube. I will put the link down in the comments section. And if you guys really want to be brave enough to waste your time and watch this movie, and, you know, maybe you guys can understand the movie better than I can... Like, hell, I had to freaking watch a review of this movie, and thank god someone else watched this movie. He was just confused as I was. Go check his video out. He probably does a much better job explaining what the hell happens, but literally, everything I said is basically what happens in the movie, and I'm sorry that I spoiled everything, but if I didn't talk about it, it, it really wouldn't make any more sense if I just cut out a lot of big parts of the movie. Plus, usually when I talk about movies on my channel, I like to talk about what happens and my thoughts about it, so... But honestly, don't watch this movie. I really don't think it's a worth your time watching this movie. It's like one hour, I think. Yeah, runtime 105 minutes, basically. So, yeah. I'm definitely not going to watch this movie again. So, I'm, that's probably why I forgot some things in the movie if I missed them. Because I watched it once and I'm never going to watch it again, honestly. So, that's basically my thoughts about this movie. And if you have seen this movie, please let me know in the comments your thoughts about it. Or make a video about it, because honestly, this movie is just a big clusterfuck again. I'm sorry if I'm swearing so much, but I really feel let down by this movie. I feel like it had good potential, but it just it literally just got thrown out the window. It's either that either the person who made this movie doesn't know how to write scripts right or how to make a good movie. Because again, my version of the movie, I think it sounds much cooler and that would have made more sense. But yeah, that's basically my thoughts about this movie. Uh, again, 2 out of 10. I don't recommend this movie, but again, I kind of wanted to talk about this movie because it's just so damn out there and it just doesn't make more any sense. And again, Tag, the movie made more sense, and I love that movie to death. I think it's a really good horror movie. Uh, if you want to watch a good Japanese movie, go watch Tag instead of this freaking movie. Tag makes more sense. I also made a movie review about the movie Tag, so if you want to watch it, it's on free. It's on YouTube for free, so go watch it. So yeah. Again, sorry that I talked too much about this fucking movie. It's just really weird and complicated. And even after talking about it, I still don't even know what the fuck is going on. My head hurts just by talking about this movie. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, and to subscribe. And to share this video with a friend. And please let me know if you have seen this movie. And again, if you want to watch this movie, the link will be done in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye.